is Aparna and welcome to Aparna's Magic. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Aloo Capsicum Masala. My style. So, let's get started. For that, we need two medium sized chopped capsicum. Here I take two medium sized boiled potatoes. This is roasted ground flour or roasted basin. This is tomato puree, one cup. This is turmeric powder or haldi powder. This is Kashmiri red chili powder. This is jeera powder or cumin powder. This is ginger garlic paste. This is chopped onion. Here I take two medium sized onion. This is cumin seeds or jeera seeds and red dry chilies. This is chopped coriander leaves or chopped dhania patta. This is garam masala powder. This is hing or asafoetida and this is ghee. Our oil is nicely heated up so we will put red dry chilies around 3 to 4 and 1 tablespoon of cumin seeds or jeera seeds. Let them crackle. Now add 1 teaspoon of asafoetida or hang into it. Add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Let it cook for a while. Our onions are nicely brown, so at this stage we will put one cup of tomato puree into it. Add one tablespoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder, one tablespoon of Kashmiri red chili powder, one tablespoon of Jeera powder or cumin powder. Salt to taste. Add sugar to balance it. Now mix them all. Let it cook for a while. It has been simmering for 5 minutes now. So in this stage, we will put 1 tablespoon of Bhunahua Besan or roasted gram flour. Mix it nicely. This will thicken the gravy. Now add capsicum. Boiled potatoes. Put a little bit of water if it is too thick to handle. Let it cook for a while. It has been simmering for another 5 to 7 minutes now. So, in this stage, we will put 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder, chopped coriander leaves or chopped dhania patta, add 1 teaspoon of ghee into it. Now mix it gently. Look at this. How gorgeous it is looking now. And you 
were done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel. friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic today i'm going to show you how to make chole paneer masala my style so let's get started for that we need chole or chickpeas i just soaked it for overnight and here i take 200 grams of chole or chickpeas this is paneer or cottage cheese here i take around 100 gram this is chopped onion, 2 medium sized chopped onion this is chopped tomato, around 2 medium sized chopped tomatoes this is jeera seeds or cumin seeds and red dry chilies this is haldi powder or turmeric powder this is kashmiri red chilli powder for the color and not for the heat this is garam masala powder this is ginger garlic paste this is jeera powder or cumin powder this is chopped dhania patta or chopped coriander leaves and this is ghee first put three dry red chilies and cumin seeds or jeera seeds into it let them crackle Chopped onion into it. Let it fry. Now add ginger garlic paste. Around 1 tablespoon. Saute it nicely. Add chopped tomatoes. Mix them. Now add one tablespoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder. One tablespoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. One teaspoon of jeera powder or cumin powder. Salt to taste and sugar to balance it. Now mix it properly. Put little bit of water if it is too thick. And let it cook for a while. It has been simmering for 5 minutes now. So in this stage we will put chickpeas or chole mix them all looking so nice now add around one glasses of water Let it cook. It has been simmering for another 5 minutes now. So, in this stage, we will put 1 tablespoon of garam masala powder and 1 teaspoon of ghee into it. Spread it and put the cooker in. Now let it cook in a medium flame for around 15 minutes. Let's open now. Look at this. 
how gorgeous it is looking now. Now put paneer cubes into it and chopped coriander leaves or chopped dhaniya patta and mix it nicely. And you're done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel.